Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what a time, what a week, what a way to start the week, what a way to start the morning, however you're listening, why ever you're listening, I can assure you, this is the only place you need to be for the next 45 minutes, whatever it may be, right here with us on the Brilliantly Dumb Show. Update for the viewers that I am very excited about, that our producer, Benny the Jet, is very excited about. Nice little spike going on in download numbers right now. Nice little spike. So there's a little bit of a buzz here around the show. We love a good buzz here on the Brilliant Dumb Show. I love a good buzz. Um, is it Mikey Bear Down Cuz and Joey Cold Cuts? Is it the buy or sell segment here on the Brilliant Dumb Show? We don't know. We don't care. We don't give a shit. We just want the people tuned in week in, week out. And this is exactly what we have here. It's a beautiful thing. So thank you to um, the new listeners that have come in. Of course, the OGs that have been with us from the start. Um, but no question about it. Little bit of a buzz here on the Brilliantly Dumb Show. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot to get into. What better way to start than right here with our buy or sell segment of the week. Took some time for these because I really had a lot that I wanted to say about these. I had a couple things that I wanted to throw in there. I came down to four for our buy and sell segment. Now with the buy and sell segment, as we all know, what about the week did we see that we liked? What didn't we like? Is it a person? Is it a food item? Is it a restaurant? Is it a sports team? If we were to buy or sell stock and whatever that is, what would it be? What did you see this week that you like? What did you see this week that you didn't like immediately right out of the gate for our buy segment? Something that I want to buy. Buy your stock in Willow Smith, daughter of Will Smith, who we love, dear friend of the pod. Um, she came out with a new song called Meet Me at Our Spot. And this is a certified banger. You want to talk bangers? Let's talk bangers. Willow Smith just dropped a banger. She collabed with some random guy that we've never heard of till now, and he's spectacular. Meet me at our spot. Now, Willow Smith um, took a lot of heat for the Whip My Hair Back and Forth song. Horrific song. There's no question about it. Terrible song. And a lot of people said she's only here because of who her dad is, who was Will Smith. And maybe so. And people were right to question that without a doubt with the whip my hair back and forth song. This new song out of Willow Smith, however, she's kind of reinvented herself and I'm loving it. And it doesn't matter who her dad is, if he's Will Smith or not. This is a banger and it would be a banger every day of the week regardless of who our father is um i'll tell you right now i'm buying my stock in willow smith download that song certified smash out of our girl willow smith and she is back and better than ever like she never left um something that we would like to buy i did go ahead and try the chicken sandwich out of burger king which mikey v the garden state product has pushed for so hard on our last episode. He tried the chicken sandwich. He's been trying to get me and Joey cold cuts to try this chicken sandwich. This sandwich is a force to be reckoned with in a world that is cluttered and fluttered with chicken sandwich all over the board. You got Chick-fil-A, you got Popeye's, you got Wendy's. You saw the segment that we did last week on the show. This Burger King chicken sandwich is lethal. It is a very good chicken sandwich. It is large. It hits all the right spots every single time. It just bull rushes your palate. Um, credit to Mikey V because this week here on the Brandly Dump Show, we are buying our stock in the Burger King chicken sandwich. Let's not sleep on Burger King now. Burger King has the Arby's in them to where their stock definitely has gone down over the last, say, five years. But Burger King has a different approach than Arby's. I think they're managed better than Arby's. And I don't think they're going to let themselves continue to fall. Do not sleep on Burger King. And definitely do not sleep on the Burger King French fries. A fry that I find to be a very good fry. Do not sleep on Burger King and buy your stock in the chicken chicken sandwich. Um this next one's going to be very tough for me because I think I'm going to take a lot of heat for it. And I know that going into it. Um, and I want to pull it up here out of Justin Thomas, JT Thanksgiving tweet. He tweeted something about Thanksgiving dinner. 
um, that really, it, it, and we posted it, the Jet posted it on the Burnley Dumb Show. It really made me think because at first I thought it was a preposterous statement. And then I thought more about what just Justin Thomas had to say about Thanksgiving dinner. And in a way, if I'm being quite frank, I think he's, I think he's got a point. Justin Thomas tweeted, Thanksgiving dinner is overrated. If it was that good, we would eat it all the time. Come at me. And at first I thought, you know what, Justin, I will come at you. But then I kind of backtracked a little bit. I think there's a lot of truth to that. And I think I am going to sell the Thanksgiving dinner. If Thanksgiving dinner was that great, wouldn't we be having it a lot more? How come I can't find green bean casserole on any day other than Thanksgiving? How come cranberry sauce is nowhere to be found? How come stuffing is nowhere to be found? No matter what you do to a turkey, how you baste it, how you cook it, how you bake it, do you fry it? It's always the same turkey. No matter what seasonings and spices you put on it, when you cut into that turkey, it's the same turkey. And to be quite frank, without gravy, very dry, always dry, regardless of how many times you shoot the juices into it, you stick a beer can under the turkey's ass. Maybe Thanksgiving dinner isn't that great. Maybe it's not that good. Maybe JT is onto something here. I think I agree with Justin Thomas. I really do. I really fucking do. Maybe on Thanksgiving dinner, we are fooled by the experience rather than the food. Because on Thanksgiving day, you have the family over, you're drinking, you have football, everybody has their day off from work. Maybe the endorphins are so high that we are fooled into thinking that the food is better than it really is. And you know what? I'd be lying to you if I told you this was not on my mind for a large portion of Thanksgiving break, because it is. I said it. I'm saying it right here, and I am sorry. I feel kind of guilty saying it. I feel kind of dirty saying it. We are selling Thanksgiving dinner. I'm sorry, mom, if you're listening to the show here, but that is a sell. It's nothing against you. It's everything against the turkey. It's always dry, no matter how you do it. Um, something that I want to sell, and I believe I've sold it before. I want to sell it again because I'm pissed off at it. I'm sick and tired of it. Is the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I had it this football Sunday, and the peak of my week, the highest point where my endorphins are as high as ever, the happiest point of my week is when I come off the treadmill after my workout Sunday morning, I get off the treadmill, give or take 7.45 in the morning. First kickoff is at 10 in the morning. Again, we're West Coast here. So those two hours, right after I get off the treadmill from 8 to 10, I put my DraftKings lineups in. I do the prize picks. Um, I'm doing my fantasy lineups. We put some football bets on. It is the height of my week. We have football Sunday coming up. It's the best. And I need a coffee and a bagel that's going to set the tone. That's going to take me from that high that I'm coming off, coming out of the gym, and even elevate it more with a good coffee and a bagel. Now, I don't hate the Dunkin' Bagel as much as I should. I think the Dunkin' Donuts Bagel does get you by. You know what you're going getting into it. You're not going to get an above average bagel. You're going to get a bagel that's going to get you by. It's going to give you the bagel feel. They'll toast the hell out of that thing, which I never mind. The bagel will get you by. That's not the issue I have with Dunkin' Donuts. It's the coffee. The coffee stinks. It is the worst. It's garbage. The iced coffee. The Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee is stinks. And I don't care if I've sold Dunkin' Donuts for a buy and sell segment before. I want to sell it again. I want to sell it and I want to sell more of it. It's a piss poor coffee. And there's so much shit that they put in there. It's horrid. And what coffee is supposed to do is supposed to bring you, make you awake, make you alert, bring you up, keep you all rejuvenated, happy, ready to go. It doesn't do that. That's why I like shitty coffee. The good thing about shitty coffee is it does what coffee should do and it wakes you the fuck up. I've always been a believer that the shittier the coffee, the more it's going to wake you up. 
Starbucks, phenomenal coffee. Tastes is great, but it doesn't wake you up. It doesn't do what coffee is really supposed to do. Starbucks is going to give you a phenomenal tasting coffee, but it's not going to really pop you to life and get the juices flowing the way that a shitty black coffee would do. Dunkin' Donuts, no taste, totally stinks, and it doesn't wake you up. So why are we here? Why am I ordering the iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts? Absolute garbage. You heard it here first. The Brilliantly Dumb Show, buy or sell segment. So we bought Willow Smith. We bought Burger King and the Chick King sandwich. Shout out Mikey V who pioneered the movement to get Burger King back on the map. We sold Thanksgiving dinner again, felt kind of dirty doing it, but I did. And we sold the piss poor Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we transition to our segment, Mikey Bear Down Cuz, Joey Cold Cuts. Let's get rocking and rolling. Let's get the banter flying. It's go time. We keep it moving here on the Brilliant Dumb Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by our good friends at HelloFresh. What is HelloFresh, you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and most importantly, affordable the way that it should be. The holidays can be hectic, but HelloFresh helps you keep things simple with recipes that cut back on pre-meal prep and cleanup so you can spend less time in the kitchen and more quality time with friends and family. HelloFresh offers 50 and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. It ain't a joke in the kitchen. I'm an absolute disaster. If I don't have the step by step, if I don't have a company like HelloFresh delivering the groceries to the doorstep and taking me on my way to a damn good meal, I ain't messing around, ladies and gentlemen. Go to HelloFresh.com slash dumb14. That's HelloFresh.com slash dumb14, the dumb14, for up to 14 free meals and three free meals gifts. Again, HelloFresh.com slash dumb14 and get 14 free meals and three free gifts. Ladies and gentlemen, take it from me. Don't mess around with your food. I know I don't. HelloFresh, smash that promo code right there. Gentlemen, 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 feels very good to be back. Very good to be back. And and I'm going to go ahead and put something out there right out of the gate. We got Mikey V. We got Joey Cold Cuts. Um, this might go unnoticed on other podcasts, not on my podcast. Mikey V, three minutes early to the show here today in the waiting room on the Zoom. Things that really tend to go unnoticed, not here. Cold Cuts, minute late as always, but I don't hate that at all. Um, Mikey V, we appreciate you being minute late. Listen, for starters, okay, my computer was not working. I think what what's the music going on here? What is this music going on here? That is the royal entrance of the king, the Burger King. Oh, good lord! Are we still talking about this freaking chicken sandwich? You know, we had a whole episode dedicated to this chicken thing. By the way, the name is obnoxious. It is. I agree. Chicken. It sounds like a, it's like. What are we talking about? I here? I hate the name. I hate the name. I do. But I will tell you this: I reviewed it today. We're still waiting on the Joey Cold Cuts review, which I. Highly, highly anticipate. I really look forward to the Joey Colcott review of the King sandwich. Your, your, your review, by the way, Bob, I got to be honest with you. It wasn't a review. It was a fucking, it was a, a funny video that you post online. There was no feedback. I wanted specific analysis of the actual burger, like the taste, the crunch of the chicken. Like I wanted something more than just a funny video. What am I, I think Bear Down, Guy Fieri? Oh, well, I think Bear Down deserves more than what you gave him, to be quite Joe, frank. Joe, I went out of my way today 
Now Burger King's right down the block, but I went it's right a block out of- away from you. You could throw a stone. It's so close. Well, I what's normally it, what's, it, what's the term bear on stones throw or throw stones throw away? Yes, stones stones throw. Throw. Yeah, I'm That's taking stone. shit from a guy who's wearing a gingerbread polo. You got ging- <laughs> it's not their goats. It's a tiger goat. <laughs> a gingerbread. <laughs> They're tiger goats. I, Listen, I thought their I thought the review was it was admirable. I thought it was an affirmation <laughs> of things I already knew. Um, you know, I, but the bottom line, I'm happy you went, Bob. I'm happy you experienced it for yourself. Uh, th- by the way, the sandwich you had in the video, very thick piece of chicken. I can very, tell very, very. And you know what they do that I country appreciate? thick, some would say. I'll tell you what I love about what they do. Um, and I don't mind you bringing it back up, Bear Down, because you were, you're totally vindicated. You put it on your story today. You. You're totally vindicated. You took a really, really hard time. And Katsu, we're going to get to you. you we're going to get to you. I, I, you don't have to have your hand up, Joseph. I okay? don't want to interrupt. I'm being respectful. Okay. Is the thing with the chicken is it's a, such a big piece of chicken, and it, the chicken sandwich could be ruined without enough sauce. They put the perfect amount of sauce and they match up the thick chicken with the thick pickle. Cutsy, we go over to you. First of all, I will I will deem this sandwich this week. I promise you in the next couple of days, I will deem whether or not it's Cutsy certified. And and I will not be I will not be biased, Bear Down. I will I will be open minded. I, ap- I appreciate that. I appreciate that. that I would, I would said, expect nothing less from a man of your culinary aptitude. <laughs> I, I I agree. I, you know, it it, 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 I enjoy the fact that you can acknowledge that I am well versed. I, abso- in I food. absolutely acknowledge that there is no dispute. As you can your see, I'm aspect. very well versed. It's not that. It's not that. It's the experience, the exposure to the field, the uh, the takes, yeah, the opinions. I respect them. I respect them. But you were very quick to jump down the gullet when I made yes. any suggestion about the chicken sandwich, but the. We're well, going to move on from there. Reasons, well, I'll just say for two reasons and two reasons only. The first is, let's be honest, Burger King has not been on the map for I a agree. long, long I agree. time. But, but Joe, that he did I agree say with. that. He, that I agree with 100%. And then the second thing was the photo. It looked so small, but we addressed that already. I want to I want to move on because I feel like yes. we need yep. to address something of much more important nature. Oh, and bear down, you know this. Now, I am fair. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I've always <laughs> said this since day one. I feel like you need to be fair across the board. And Bobby, I'm looking at you right now, dude, because it's not right what you did yesterday. You went on your Instagram. You did a, you did a thing. And Bear Down called you out on it. And I thought he was outlandish to call you on it. But it, it turns out he was right. And Bobby, you were using a filter weeks after you literally made bear downs life a living hell for his bahamas filter and you go around and then you use a paris filter which as bear down said it doesn't come up on the top bar so people don't even know that you're using it and your complexion looked immaculate and quite frankly it's not right it's not only only to the untrained eye (laughs) (laughs) and and, and it's not fair i am absolutely going to say something because it's not right it's not fair it's, it's not, not true to it's brand. A, it's a listen, the Paris filter, it's a totally different thing. And the reason that it's not shown on the top left is because it's not an extreme filter. It's an <laughs> everyday, it's an everyday filter. Let me tell you something. If the it's filter, not extreme, what's the point of using it then? Because it does help the complexion a little bit. Let me ask you this, Joseph. I've if never go, used a filter in my life. You'll never shit. Horse now, shit. Let me if you go to do a post. Okay, if you go to post post, you tell me that when you before you click post, you don't do the clag Claritin Claragodin filter. You don't change. The the only thing I have ever done, and this is never on my face or my complexion or on my thing. The only thing I've ever done is on a golf photo. It was a darker photo and I changed the lighting. I put a filter to change the lighting because you couldn't see the distinction of the green and how beautiful it was. I have never, this face is for the TV. I've never put any filter on it. What you see is what you get. And if you don't like it, then quite frankly, you should be blind. The Paris filter is a very, very common filter. The filter that bear down, the filter that bear down uses. 
was Wait. the Baham. Go ahead, Mikey V. <laughs> Why are things being deflected back to me? I'm gonna I got to fight for myself. I'm, gonna I'm tell, fighting I'm, for my I life didn't attack you. Here. I didn't attack no, you. No, you didn't use a filter. You wouldn't have to be in this position, Bob. You didn't. But I just I tell you this. what a real I tell you the real underlying problem to all of this. There's I'm going to tell you exactly what the biggest problem there is right now amongst the three of us with all of this. We have a real problem with filter shaming. There's a lot of filter shaming going on, <laughs> whether it be golf pictures, <laughs> semi filters, extreme filters, a lot of filter shaming going on. And I think 2021, we should all recognize filter shaming has no place in common society. Now, you know, since I have not used the Bahamas filter. Sense. I will not use the Bahamas filter. Sense. I hadn't used it prior. Either. Confirmed you, you had any, any evidence. You will not have seen any evidentiary value of anything of Bahamas usage prior to the picture in question. That's you neither were here using nor there. Bahamas so much. I would have sworn you're in Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, wow. you were using the Bahamas. <laughs> now I'm, I will say, but bear down. You've been much better since then because you know that you'd be crucified if you did, but. I, I I defer. I'm sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> is Trinidad Please. and Tobago, isn't that in Jamaica? Probably. Yeah, that's close Come enough on. to the Bahamas. Let me, you, Joe, let me tell you this. If you were fact-checked on this podcast from the time that we started doing this, oh. you would be absolutely fucked. That's an you, outlandish statement. You would be. I ab- speak from the heart, Bob. Sometimes I get a little excited, but what I speak is truth. Oh, God, Joseph, you would be so screwed. It's so unfair. And I only make true statements. So when I say things like Jurassic Park is better than Jaws, it's true statements. It's not it's it's factual statements, Bob. And I don't I don't speak out of my ass. You know what was really good for Bear Down is holy shit. Bear Down is or I not the is is that a Rolex on Bear Down? Oh, Bear where Down. Big, where I love the it casually star? throws it out. I got to tell you what prize must picks have been a good been week really for prize oh, picks. Oh, <laughs> man. Whoa. Holy Sign shit. me up for the power play. This man look on. at that. Watch. <laughs> Just going to can we give a little can we give a little uh, little stunting it over the rope? We see a little. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a fossil. Actually, I think, you guys oh, just, I think it's, it's a, a lot fossil. like a Roly to me over here, Joseph. I tell you what, I come out next week and Gucci and fucking chains. Um, I'm a man. I'm a common man. I'm a co- would, like Dusty Rhodes, <laughs> common man. I um, I would like to. I, I do want to give. You know, we we always jump down each other's throats. I do want to give credit. Um, before we jump into the prize picks, Joey Coldcuts came to my place. Uh, what are you shaking your head like? You already know where. Like, I'm what just I'm taking say, the credit. Jennifer. What do you want me to say? Joey Coldcuts came to my place Sunday. Bear down. Yep. He came with football Sunday was at my place. Mutual agreement. He had it before. I think we're in a good cadence for where football Sunday is going to be. I'm happy with prior it. To the season. Ever since he got his AC fixed, to be quite frank, I don't really care where it is. Um, he showed up with the backpack and in this backpack for football Sunday, he had Trulies. He had Modelo's. He had Tostitos. He had queso dip. Mm-hmm. It gets better. He had edibles and to top it all off he had an <laughs> unbelievable bottle of wine in this and backpack. cubans and cubans he he Jesus. was talk about a rolex uh, what, 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 i will yeah. see this i will see this i have missed bob dearly on sunday football weeks and this week was the first week back this guy's been retired playing pickleball, having naps great all game. day. So it's it was very game. nice to have him back. And and you know what? I was well prepared and and it, I, it made Sunday great. So you and, wanted to do a little something extra special. Yeah. And you know what, Bear Down? I promise you the day when we watched. I, I tell you what I, I tell you what I, I did see. I will roll out the red carpet. I will I tell roll out the red carpet. I tell you what I did see. I saw you carrying, barely being able to walk down the street with all the items you had. Yes. I mean, stacked on top of your head like a Ugandan woman with the with yeah, the, and, with the and bowls just... on top. <laughs> and Bob is just filming you yeah. laughing. I mean, you could have dropped so many of those items. You yes, would have and some of them were the precious. Cubans, the wine, fragile items here. Yes. You know what? And, and this is a story of my life. This guy likes to film me rather than help a brother in need. I, I now. Joe, I gave you credit for, for what you arrived to at football Sunday. How about a little credit for Bob completely changing his flight, spending the extra 350 to hop on the jet blue one way to Los wasn't Angeles? Wasn't that on the wasn't that on the Bob Does Sports? Wasn't that on their agenda? No, that has nothing to do with Bob Does Sports. That's on my dime. 
All right. Well, then that was a very good play, Bob. You did very well. Appreciate that. Okay, good. <laughs> now, now, what if, well, I will it, say. Wait, I what, if it had, what if it had been on the Bob Does Sports tab? Does it diminish the value a little well, bit? Well, it just, it's, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like you're wearing the crest of honor and really you're not paying the money for it. I just wanted to be honest. Stolen, about it. stolen valor. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and to boot there, Bear Down, he was initially supposed to come in Sunday morning and. I willingly volunteered to go to LAX, which, by the way, if you've ever been to LAX, it's a fucking nightmare. I have. It's hard. And I I said, Bob, I will be there. I will be ready and I will pick you up. So he did. He changed the night to, to, to come Saturday night instead. So it spared me, you know, needing to pick him up. But I was ready and willing, if need be. To, to pick him up in order to make that happen. If you're a volunteer airport pickup guy, you're automatically like on the notch hood of, of good people. Yeah. If you're an airport, a committed airport pickup person, you're automatically on a scale of one to 10 of good people. You're automatically sitting at a four. If you're an airport pickup person, I am. You are. You automatically four points because nobody likes to do no, that. Let's be honest. honest. No, I picked him up so often as I'm like a Hertz pickup fucking shuttle <laughs> bus by this point. Bear down. He's he's been he's he's very good with the airport pickups. He's right. very good. And, and he, Bob, sometimes I'll even have snacks or like burgers or something. Uh, the, two times ago, I picked yeah, him up at an in and out double double ready for him. <laughs> yeah, he did. It was great. waiting to go. I mean, and, where and I, that? I happen to be starved. I happen to be absolutely starved. Um, but this ain't about he, me patting myself on the back. I'm sorry. I just oh yeah, because he would never do never, that. Never, no, never, like, is, he would never, never do. Course. And he, uh, Beta, he actually used to squire me all around town. Like he actually was the driver. He was like the fucking turtle in our group. He would drive everywhere. But his driving, and I, I, I'm, I don't like driving. His driving is so bad that I, I couldn't. Do, I am so on edge in the passenger seat. It, it is. I've been in one accident in the last four years, Bob. Let me ask you this, Cut. You have any points on your license? Oh, does he have points? Well, no, no. It's here's, like here's, a here's fucking, the thing. down. I'll tell it's you. a no. wheel of fortune. Fucking spin. Does he have points? I like don't. A first high, of he's all, like a high. He's like a high score at a pinball arcade game. Bear down. And, and and you know what? You know what? Bear down. Regardless of if he gets into an accident, okay, mm-hmm. no matter mm-hmm. what happens, no one matter in what it years. is, he will go at the other. He's the guy that gets out of the car, points the finger, How do escalates you know the that, Bob? Have you ever been with me when I got in an accident? I got one accident in the last four years. I got T-boned. And by the way, I was very nice. The guy was old and fragile, so I was very nice. He wasn't even near me. How can you make that outlandish claim? Bear down. Is it true? I, I, you might have like you, you might have briefly said it, and we didn't question you on it. Like we kind of let it go, and then I thought about it, and I was trying to uh-huh. tell the big ticket this the uh-huh. other day. Is it confirmed when you fly because yeah. of your size that you're only going first class? Um, my <laughs> wife doesn't like me to to say this, but yeah, that's my preference all the time. Yeah. <laughs> So that's well, it's all she thinks she thinks she thinks that I do it for the for the amenities, which <laughs> I mean, let's not let's not let's not get it confused. The amenities in first class are there. Once notch. you've flown first class, you really don't want to go back to coach. But um, listen, will I sit bulkhead or will I sit emergency row if 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 push comes to shove, if that's my options? I'm not I'm not an asshole. Of course, I'll do it. But uh, under most circumstances, I will pay the upgrade fee to go to first class. Yes. I will be honest. I would feel very comfortable with Bear Down as the emergency guy in the middle. Oh, like yeah. If something happened oh, with course. the flight. I think oh, he yeah. would be right in line 1, to thousand. I, I feel oh, yeah. very safe. Now, me, I, I would I never volunteer to be in the emergency. But Bear Down, I don't want that responsibility. Straight. I don't see Cutsy as as a oh, guy who's going to oh. who's going to really put himself out there for some <laughs> strange old lady. Who's in I mean, row I would. 20, push comes row to 24 shove. seat F that's trying to get out of the plane. <laughs> push He's going to be shove. like, remember in Seinfeld when Costanza pushes the little kids out of the way? When I, there's would the fire alarm? Fire! Fire! <laughs> <laughs> like, I would never down. do that. I would never do that. When when you're in first class. Yes. Where is is Holly and the kids? Are they in? Coach? No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 oh. no. Never, never, Good. never, 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 never. I would never do that. I would never do that. No. So, but like, I'll give you an example. We went to Disney a couple of years ago. I had to fly back for work early, so I had to leave by myself early. I upgraded my ticket to a first class ticket. She was not happy about that. The she best thought it was ever. a she thought it was a waste of money. I strongly disagree. You will never know what it's like to sit in a coach seat at six foot seven. 
270 pounds, you'll never know the discomfort physically to stretch your legs, bro. Yes, like I my agree. legs begin to what lock do, up. Joe, Joe, what do you mean you agree? You're not six, seven. There's a DeMar family rule in my house, okay? Now but, we but, have, but my Joe, family is a lot Joe, of points. You, so anytime I'm flying, the, the DeMar family rule is if it's over four and a half hour flight, it's automatic business. I've never, I've never, I want to try and so bad. To if it was overseas, there were some times if the business was not able, I would be, you know, I would have the luxury of flying first class, which have by the ever, way, it's overseas tremendous. first class is a next level. I'd be sipping caviar. I'd be sipping champagne, eating caviar with, I put the slippers on. I take full advantage. You'd be eating the Alaskan King crab, black truffle. Uh, that's a side. side. Well, that's yeah. just, <laughs> I mean, well, that was a side to my side. main confirmed course. Side. Yes. Um, have you ever flown in one of the first class seats where it's the legitimate, like you have your own pod with the bed? Oh, like many times. Down? Yes. Now that is something, I mean, you have shelving. I mean, you have a shelving unit in the pod. I want to try you the Abu Dhabi so It's outrageous. It's outrageous. It's great. Um, have you flown first class? Before? No, I want to try it so bad. You've never flown? No. Well, we're I talking about a guy who's never left the country. So, I mean, well, one time. Let me so tell you, after that, after that Mexico trip, I got no desire to leave anytime you, soon. You, we did patriot. not do it Man's right. a patriot. Uh, got no Man's desire. A patriot. I got you don't want to go. We're going to go to Europe for Maple's wedding this year. Well, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. You are going to be so out of place, by the way. You're going to stick out like a sore thumb. I'd love to be a part of the DeMar family rule over a certain amount of miles. Talk to Bob to sports. Yeah, maybe so. Um, <laughs> I agree with that, to be quite honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the young I mean, man should want, be You're the talent, I think you Bob. should be flying first I mean, class. You're the That's talent. They got to make Look, sure you're comfortable. I agree. Un I agree, until, Cuts. I agree. Until the Bob Does Sports has... I think you should take full advantage. A million followers on oh, both what? Instagram and... I'm not going to... I'm not going to And by that. the way, I'm if not, I keep getting gonna... thrown on the YouTubes for the Bob Does Sports too, I might ask for a little business upgrade at some point too. Fucking guys, unbelievable! I mean, that's, it's just uh, that's why you gotta love him, though. That really yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, him. look, he's he is a vocal one of guy. a kind. One there's, of a kind. There's no question about it. I, I I tell you what, I'd love to talk about the stunt you pulled the dinner with Smigsy, by the way. But I'm what gonna leave stunt? that. I would love to fucking the cuts he pulled. Stunt? Cuts he pulled the Texas stunt like you wouldn't fucking believe the other night. It was hysterical, but it was well, now I have now I have to hear. If it. we're talking, I, I, I'm not gonna dinner. Don't get me started, Bob. Oh, okay. I will uh, bury you. Okay, let's leave it alone. Let's leave it alone. Let's leave it alone. 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 You want to talk alone. stunt? This alone. guy got it. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Leave it alone. <laughs> It was a fucking Barnum and Bailey trapeze act with the circus act. <laughs> this guy on the dinner. So don't get me started, okay, Bob. Okay, we are moving right along right here on along, the Brilliantly right Dumb Show. Up. <laughs> I love I this segment. I can't believe this guy. I love, I love this segment. I mean, it is, it's tremendous. It's absolutely tremendous. Um, here now, by the way, you look really good with the black on I, he wear, Yeah, he does. He looks really good today. And Pops. I will say... Whatever you have going on right now, because there's no Bahamas filter. This is the field. This is the lighting that should there's be no, happening there's, there's all nothing. the time. You I'm look a, better than ever right now. You look I'm, like an well, absolute you know what it was. Stud. You know what it was? I got the 40 minutes of the cardio in today. Cardio well, shows. It does wonders for the skin, man. It really yeah. does. It, it really flushes looks, out. It flushes out much. everything. All you know, I, I was, you feel so good. I, I talked about it earlier prior is that. For me, Sunday morning, about eight in the morning, Pacific games start at 10 o'clock. When I go off the treadmill and I know I got a full football Sunday, I just got my run in. Yeah. I'm sweating. My shirt's drenched. There is nothing better. There's well, you know why? Better. You come off and you really get a sense of like, I deserve this now. Yes. Like I just like I earned I earned the day I'm about to have. I earned for it. sure. You're big on that, that too, my I am. And then I even am. throughout the day, you mentally know I I I put my work in today. Yes. You know what yep. I mean? Yep. Um, yep. gentlemen, we got a very very interesting top five today, and I briefed you guys on it. You guys wanted to be briefed on it, um, and that's exactly what I did. And this is a very good one. Very interesting. Is today we are going to be doing. For the Ask Bob, Ask Bear Down, Ask Joey Cold Cuts segment here um, is we are going to be doing top five athletes, top five current athletes that you would let date your sister. If you had to pick five guys to date your sister, 
who are those five guys that you would want? Five athletes in sports, current athletes. And what I'd like to do is start with you, Joey Coldcuts. We'll go ahead and let you rip right out of the gate. Now, now, are we saying date or marry? Because it's a big difference. <laughs> I mean, is that the most obnoxious? It's, 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 it's going to become my brother-in-law or it's someone she's dating. I'm sorry, Bob. It has a big difference. Could potentially be your does brother-in-law it, one day. Does Could it? Potentially be. I mean, right. it's All like right. you're going like to change your- I just like to know your, the stipulations here, Bob. You know, it's like, remember, but I remember when I did top five Pete's and he said, first name Pete or last name Pete? No, that one was bad. I'm yeah. sorry. That one was, yeah, yeah. That one was little... Last name Pete would have put us in a real pickle. It's unbelievable. Be Okay, Cutsy, take it away. Top five at current athletes you would want to date your sister. Now, I'll be honest. You told us this in advance. I really didn't spend much time thinking about it because I like there to kind of. We well, I like to kind of wing it a little bit because I don't like if I start thinking about it, then I overthink and then I go back and forth and then I'm never happy with it. So I'm going to kind of just wing it. I have a couple that I know in store, but these are five guys I think are they kind of embody everything you'd want to have in a brother-in-law, you know, respect camaraderie, someone you want to hang with. So here, here goes nothing at five. I'm going Mariano Rivera. All right. <laughs> Gutsy, Gutsy. I, I love Mariano Rivera, but what it, we did, we said it, it's top five current athletes. No, we like, said in the last decade. Fair enough. He changed it. Did, he changed did I it. not tell it? Did I not give Multiple him times. ample amount of Multiple time times. and change it to current? I love how he just came out with it anyway. <laughs> That's yeah. ridiculous. He could care Dude. less. Could care no. less. He's still no. throwing the cutter. He could care less. He's still <laughs> throwing the cutter. He's a legend. <laughs> he just now, retired in the last... Now the top five gets really interesting because now no, he's got to scramble. kind of screwed now. Now he has to scramble. All right. Um, shit. He didn't prepare. Um, I see the pen and notepad right in front of him. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I. That I wasn't don't. a pen. Did you just put a pen down? Yes or no? Let's I see started it. trying to write. There's the pen. Oh, There's the pen. Show us the paper. Show us the paper. No, no. It's 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 no. It's 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 on my phone. I was writing. I was trying to write down mentally in my mind. Um, it's a smart pencil. <laughs> so here's okay. So it has to be currently in the league. Yes. Correct. All right. At five, give me Devontae Adams. All right. Give me Devontae Adams. By the way, he had a play this week where he knocked over an old coach or someone on the sidelines. Picked him up. The wherewithal, he picked him up. Yeah, I love that. Not only did he pick him up, he grabbed his toque and he snuggled it back on his head. Fair. Fair That right there just shows the kind of man this guy is. He is just in every shape and form a good guy. Give me no, I love that. I love that. Fair five. Very fair five. At number four, good God almighty, number four, give me Connor McDavid of the Edmonton Oilers. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, dude? The guy is a fucking superstar. And not only that, he shows he can be loyal even in bad circumstances. He plays for a bad team in butt fuck nowhere. And not only that, he he's loyal to the team, Bob. It's yeah, it's- a willingness to be. I think that's a very good pick. The first two picks are completely in Cutsy's wheelhouse. The Canadian National <laughs> Sport and the Green Bay Packers. Let's continue with the list, Joseph. So Please. true. That's no, I'm so loving true. it. I, By the way, classiest move ever. Football player knocks over the person on the sideline, doesn't pick him up. I it was wonderful that. I love, to watch. I love the picking up of the person. And putting okay. the toque on, too. Yeah, Go the toque. Yep. And, okay, so no, number three. Uh, number three, give me Roger Federer. All right. Yeah, I don't hate it. Don't Number three, it. Roger Federer, class act, Swiss, never gets in trouble. Very, you know, cut, cut of the jib kind of guy, you know? Yeah, I don't I don't hate that. Although he was just, don't want to throw the guy under the bus, but not a good tipper. Just saying that. But I don't, I'm just saying. <laughs> I do you have, not dating my sister. <laughs> not a good with tipper. Us. You should stay with us all the time. Number good, two. Great guy. Not a good tipper. Go ahead. Steve Nash. I love Steve that. Steve Nash is an absolute icon and he's a beautiful, beautiful. Wait, bear down. I, I, just so I'm not the one stopping him. Uh, can you take this away, please? He's in the league, Bob. You said somebody's still in the league. I mean, I mean he's a coach. What are we now? We're not, we're now, we, you can't just, pick a coach. Just, that's fine. Steve Nash. Good he's guy. in the league. He's relevant. He's in the league. Yep. Yep. 
current yeah. athletes. Yeah, can we not just prejudice on coach or not coach or player, Bob? He's in the league. And the number one, the number one is going to be Steph Curry. I love this guy so much. He is an absolute, just a family guy. He can be, he's someone you'd want to go out with and grab a drink with. He's just a fun guy. Steph Curry in number one. I like that. I got no issue with Curry. I got, yeah, you had issue with half of the rest of my picks. I no issue with Federer. Connor McDavid, something I never saw coming. That's tremendous, just tremendous. And I love you for that, Cutsy. Um, I got my top five. I'm very eager to get to bear downs. Very. Oh, um, Jesus. I'm very eager to get to that. It'll be five bears um, players. And okay. We're just, just for the record five, we're doing five, one at the absolute top. So Curry's your number one guy. That's right. Cutsy. Number one, number one okay. is Steph Curry. All right. So number five, I'm going to go with Mike Trout. He's an under the radar type of guy. And I want an under the radar type of guy um, to be dating my sister He's a star of an, of the MLB and doesn't say boo. I mean, nobody does it. Not all over commercials and the whole yard. Mike Trout, a five. Shohei Otani's pretty good, too. <laughs> he sure is. He sure is. He sure he's, is. A, he's, a, he's an MVP, Bob. He sure is. It's an honorable mention. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are we looking you know, This is unbelievable. The disrespect I get in this. There's no coverage. disrespect. It's not hysterical. At all. No, I'm not. We are right? not disrespecting you at all or Shohei. Um, number four, give me Mac Jones. And a big reason why I'm Mac taking Daddy. the Mac Jones is that's a little listen, premature. Listen to one of his post game conferences. He's in New England for a long time. He is under Bill Belichick's umbrella. He's under Robert Kraft's umbrella. And what comes under that umbrella is class and nothing but class. Give me Mac Jones at four. Um, number three, give me Michael Phelps. I'd like to take Michael Phelps at number three. Mm. Good guy all the way around. A little bit dorky. I don't mind dorky. Do we have an issue with Michael Phelps? Because I see no issue with Michael. No, Phelps. I don't have an issue with him. I mean, he had some controversial oh. things, but I mean, who doesn't? I have no, uh, well, no, that I was, have but, issue. but, but isn't that Ryan Lochte? Yeah. No, no. Phelps had Phelps had, didn't they, they tried to take Phelps medal or they no? Tried, they, I think they did take a medal away from him. Actually. I thought they did. I thought for, they for what? I think something stupid with the marijuana and drugs, saying. Bob. Oh, good. Yeah. It's good to know you want your sister with a druggie. That's the guy you brought <laughs> over a bag of edibles yesterday. Okay. So he's those are organic one. CBD. <laughs> <laughs> God, <that's laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. You're really on one tonight, Cutsy. You're really, really on one love tonight. I love number it. number two. This uh, you guys can't fight. You can't fight it. Give me Larry Fitzgerald at number two. Good Whoa, guy. he's not in the league, Bob. Mm. You want to come at me and then you pick a guy who's retired? When was the last time you saw Larry Fitzgerald take a snap? I got it. I got I'm going to have to do a fact Hold check on. on that very fast. Larry David, Larry Fitzgerald didn't retire. He should have had a, a coach Shevsky type departure. If so, no, he's, he's gone. Still, he's, still, he's playing he's still golf, golf now. No, he's only, no. Tired. He's Larry Fitzgerald. Is no, only... I will fight you on. No, this. He's I, out no, of the league. I, he's, he's not. He's well, he hasn't registered any stats in 2021. I don't know. He's if... not picked up. He's not signed. He's not playing for any team. He's I irrelevant. Think, yeah, I, I think he's a free agent, but I don't he's know. Golfing I, every week, Bob. Well, if he's free agent, that's fine. I mean, Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald has to be. If if we're gonna allow Nash, I say we have to allow Larry Fitz. Oh, that's, that's without that's question. Legally. That's without question. Steve Nash is still in the league. He's still registered as an NBA within the NBA association. He's <laughs> Fitzgerald isn't even in the NFL anymore, Bob. <laughs> He so is. He's a free. He's a free. Let me tell you something. If Larry Fitzgerald sneaked out of the NFL that quietly, shame on the NFL because that well, guy deserves it up to with go Goodell with party. the other million things we have that we're not satisfied with. Bear down. We could fact check that, but you would be the guy to know that. Or Bear down I mean, saying he's not in the league. I believe he's not in the league. Uh, but that's not what Bear down on said. January on January fifteenth, twenty twenty. Fitzgerald resigned with the Cardinals on a one year deal. 
went on the COVID list. He's got COVID. And then nothing, nothing about nothing, nothing about 2021. So I mean he's out of the he's out of the, he's league, out of the league technically. Yeah. He's well, somebody should sign him because he's a great guy and a guy that I would hate. <laughs> um, okay. Hate my uh, sister. Okay. And number one, I'm gonna go with a guy who is at every fundraiser. Every charitable, I, I mean, he, this guy, and this is confirmed from human resources in Seattle at a hospital there. He goes to this hospital every single week when they played in the Super Bowl. He was there. Russell Wilson. Oh, they're yep. going to say Bobby Wagner. All day long. Give me Russell Wilson at one. I don't want a linebacker dating my sister. I'm sure Bobby Wagner is a great oh, guy. You protect but- her very well. Yeah, linebackers are just I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want a linebacker. They're a little nutty. They're a little bit nutty. Um, give me Russell Wilson at number one. I have no one of issue the best with guy. He's good in all of sports. And he went to Wisconsin, so you know he's 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 got his home roots. Can we get a little bit of a drum roll, please? Here, <laughs> Mikey V, ladies and gentlemen, to close it on down. Top five athletes to date. Okay, so you guys all went with, and and I don't have a sister, so I, I can't speak to what it's like to have a sister. I have four siblings, all brothers, okay? So if this question was date your daughter, we'd have a, a major discussion. I think that the route you gentlemen went with was you really went for these wholesome, great guys, you know, so yeah. well-rounded. And I did a little of that. I sprinkled a little of that, but I have some renegades on this list also. Because I also went with the, who would I think it would be awesome to be brother-in-laws with, or, you know, to that effect. So number five, and this is going to, this is just going to, I'm going to get condemned right off the bat, but that's Brian fine. We'll pick up steam after that. Number five is going to be the heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson Fury is my number five athlete i would love to be brother-in-laws with tyson fury man's been through hell mental health breakdowns rehab uh came back stronger than ever undisputed unified heavyweight champion of the world uh i'm also obsessed with british accents so i think it would be cool just to hang around with him just to hear him say certain words and phrases tyson fury my number five number four number four give me the gavel in pinstripes give me aaron judge as my number four no i ain't fighting that Aaron Judge to me seems like, and I can't go Jeter because we're doing current athletes. Aaron Judge to me just seems like a genuinely good dude, uh, but also seems like he would be a good time to hang out with. He would not have any height issues anymore. He wouldn't have to be, you know, self-conscious about his height. I think he might be self-conscious about his height if me and him hung out together because he would be hanging out with another guy who's six foot five, six foot seven. So I think that would help Aaron out a little bit. Uh, number three, I got to mimic Bob. He's on my list. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is my number three. Uh, that is the good, good guy route. I think Russell's a really good guy. I don't think that could be disputed. Team first guy plays through injury. Uh, will do anything to help his team win because he's been in a system that he's been having to sacrifice what he's been best at for the sake of Pete Carroll's awful, awful play calling for the last however many years has no issues with it. Number two, this is where things might start to get a little wild. Number two, give me my man 87. Give me the Gronk. I want the Gronk, man. Gronk would be an awesome, awesome, awesome time to hang out with as a brother-in-law. I think, listen, the guy, I never heard of him being in any trouble with any women. I never heard of him mistreating any women. He's been dating this uh, this supermodel broad now for quite some time, yeah. to my understanding. I think Gronk, listen, smart with his money. Never spent any of his contract money. Only spent his endorsement money. Saved all his contract money financially witty uh funny obviously big goofball again the hype thing very good are you worried about the party no no okay no not at all not at all and number one is really gonna it's gonna really set people back number one for me who i would (laughs) i think he's a loyal guy and just take a look at his current wife and i think you'd have to say yeah i guess he is loyal number one for me connor mcgregor would be my number one guy. I'm dating my sister. Yes. Connor McGregor, number I am one. Sick to my stomach. Connor, Connor McGregor is my number I am one. Sick this is this is by I'm gonna interject. This is by far the worst top five I've ever heard. I don't disagree. And you know I, what, Bear Down? It is a selfish top five because what you're is. doing here is 
You are picking people you want to hang out with with no regard for no your regard sister. For sister. So You're telling me Gronk and McGregor and these you know guys. It, it McGregor's spoken, loyally married. I know now you have no sister because all, if you did, you'd never pick these guys. It is all McGregor like does is hang man. out with his wife. It is spoken. He's a piece of shit. It is how is he a piece of shit? I'll tell you exactly how he's a piece of shit. Right, and he punched that an old list, man. That list was spoken like a guy who has four brothers and four brothers only. Conor McGregor. Confirmed you have no sister. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Conor McGregor in an Irish bar. Oh, cold punched an old man. The guy. And He's probably old drunk. man. Oh, my God. I'm not saying it's not wrong. I'm just it's saying a it's definitely a mistake. Five. It's horrible. It's a it's horrible very, five. And very if you were selfish. doing it for your daughter, you would readjust no all of the chance he lets his. I prefaced, I, prefaced, I prefaced the entire list saying that. I, I prefaced well, the entire list. Gone, let me tell this you. This is that. almost as bad as Jaws. Oh, oh, geez. The <laughs> jaws came back. In the <laughs> jaws came back to bite me. Someone <laughs> um, it's not a good list, Bear Down. You got it. What, what's well, wrong with Gronkowski? What Gronkowski's, we, he's sleeping with women left, right, and center. No, he's not. Oh, Bear no, Down. He's not. No, Bear he's not. Down. He's, no, he's not. Maybe in his Are younger you years. Maybe in his younger years. kidding me? I disagree. I disagree. You did. That's disagree. why it's my list and your list is your list. Stevie Adams. Stevie Wonder would tell Adams. you that he's sleeping around. The McGregor thing is sickening. The McGregor it's, to be number one, too. You know what's he's, amazing? He's one Cutsy. of the most mind boggling. Now, if, Tyson if, Fury, I can get behind. Yeah, McGregor, I like Tyson Fury. McGregor like is a bona fide. Cutsy, if shit. we change that, I think to all daughter, he does is for show. I think all he does is for I show. I think if I we, if we, I'd if, fight him. If we did the door, you'd lose. Yeah. I'd go <laughs> down lose. swinging. You and definitely about, would. I'd, Mc, I'd have your back. I'd have how your about back. McGregor at the garden when he threw the chair <laughs> through the fucking bus? He oh, threw yeah. it at another fighter. At a bus. You know how many? At a bus. You think there was one fighter on that bus? What about the bus driver, driver could have crashed? That was when he was door. feuding with. That was when he was feuding with Khabib. Half of that was God, off the I show. Loved. And Khabib kicked his ass. He did. Holy he certainly shit. did. Sir, hey, listen, McGregor's been by the way. Last couple Khabib months. is actually not a bad person to put on that list. If we're being honest. Yeah, yeah. the Russia thing is concerning. It's it concerning, but he the guy could fight a bear animal with the, a grizzly bear with his bare hands. I, I would have loved to change that from, you know what I think it is? I think Bear Down had such a good take with the top five favorite vegetables. Well, the garlic That's should have been the brother-in-laws because as far as I'm concerned, what he gave us is subpar at best. Um, I disagree. I, I mean, think listen. he tried to to wow us the way that he wowed us. <laughs> did not try and wow. <laughs> did not try and wow. I'm giving you the honest to God who I would who I would want to hang out with. Now again, Cutsy said he said it at the beginning. Is this boyfriend or is this married? You said date. You said date. There's no guarantee very that you're going to end up together. Off. I think it would be cool to have uh, a brother, a brother-in-law figure, or a dating partner of the sister. I hope you're not picking the si your brother's, uh, you know, girlfriends because you'd pick all supermodels you want to hang out with. Let's um, <laughs> let me end. <laughs> <laughs> Let me end by saying um, I love you boys I look forward to this segment so much I mean people have been absolutely loving it Cutsy something that I want to bring to your attention That Bear Down has already told us In the Gambler's Digest group chat um, It is the birthday week Of Mrs. Bear Down, Miss Holly So we might She's not be getting She's a saint. She is and we might not be getting Cave Bear Down as much as uh, There was something We haven't real. gotten Cave Bear Down for a while if we I, will be say, well, I will say when Bear Down I think it's had some effect on the picks when bear down is in the cave when he's in the man cave there's something real i can feel it in the text messages oh, good. In the he group looks chat. in that cave right now he looks he's so built good for in that, that cave. cave and i want to make you aware for our picks it's i want to make the viewers day. the viewers aware for the picks that we might be getting a different mikey v today and we have this week and we have to come to terms with that and pick cautiously Pick very cautiously. This is not the same Mikey V that we're used to. Um, happy birthday, Miss Bear Down. Happy um, birthday, Holly. Happy birthday to Holly. I love Thank you guys. You. I appreciate you. Uh, do you guys have closing words or are we good to close right there? That nope. does it right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Another edition I'm of the Brilliant Um Show. Now. We will see you next time.